Question. Discuss how Jane Austen reflects the social and economic reality of her age in Pride and Prejudice. Jane Austen's novel Pride and Prejudice provides a vivid portrayal of the social and economic reality of her time, particularly in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Austen's keen observation and satirical wit offer readers a window into the hierarchical society and economic conditions prevalent during the Regency era in England. First and foremost, Austen addresses the importance of social class and its impact on individuals' lives. The novel revolves around the Bennett family, who belong to the landed gentry, a social class that combines wealth and land ownership. The Bennett's desire to secure advantageous marriages for their daughters reflects the societal norms of the time. Their marriage was often seen as a means to elevate one's social standing or secure financial stability. The stark division between the gentry and the lower social classes is highlighted through the interactions between characters like Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennett, whose initial prejudice stems from their differing social backgrounds. Moreover, Austen explores the economic challenges faced by women in her era. The absence of a male heir in the Bennett family exposes the precarious situation of the Bennett sisters, who stand to lose their home and security upon their father's death. This plot point emphasizes the limited opportunities available to women to independently secure their futures and the importance of marriage as a means of financial security. Austin's portrayal of the economic dependence of women underscores the broader social and economic restrictions faced by women in Regency England. Austin also comments on the influence of wealth and material possessions on societal status. Characters like Mr. Bingley and his sisters, who come from newly acquired wealth, are initially viewed with skepticism by the aristocracy due to their lack of social pedigree. This aspect of the novel reflects the changing economic landscape of the time, where a rising middle class emerged and challenged traditional notions of aristocratic privilege. Austin subtly critiques the obsession with wealth and social status by presenting characters like Mr. Collins, whose exaggerated fawning over Lady Catherine de Bourgh highlights the superficiality of such aspirations. Furthermore, Austin explores the limitations placed on women's agency and their role within society. Through characters like Elizabeth Bennett, who defies societal expectations and expresses her opinions freely, Austin challenges the prevailing norms of female behavior. Elizabeth's refusal to conform to conventional standards of femininity and her rejection of suitors solely based on their social standing showcase Austin's commentary on the limited choices available to women and the importance of personal autonomy. In conclusion, Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice offers a nuanced depiction of the social and economic reality of her time. By exploring themes such as social class, economic constraints, materialism, and women's agency, Austen provides readers with a comprehensive understanding of the societal dynamics and challenges faced by individuals in Regency England. Her keen observations and critique of societal norms continue to make the novel a significant work in understanding the social and economic context of Austen's age.